This episode of The Patch is sponsored by NatureBox. Order great tasting healthy snacks right to your door. Forget the vending machine and get in shape for summer with healthy, delicious treats like everything bagel sticks. Support this podcast and get 50% off your first order. Go to naturebox.com slash the patch. The patch. Hey, look at that. Hello? Hi. Welcome to the B-Team Patch. <laughs> the, the B-Team Patch. Um, yes, I am Bashley. <laughs> I'm Batam. And I'm Bacari. <laughs> Not to be confused with Bacardi. Bacardi, yeah. Um, that would have been way better. Yeah. Un- unfortunately... We should just replace Bacardi. you what? with Bacardi. Yeah. I mean... I mean. Can we get some Bacardis? <laughs> yes. For Bacari? <laughs> Great start. Uh, <laughs> this is the 52nd episode of ooh. The Patch. That means it is our one, one year birthday. Year. Wow. Legal. Oh, wait. Nope, not, le- not yet. <laughs> we're one. That's We have <laughs> yeah, a legal. long time we're until we're legal. Now you can get like the actual like kids' meals and not like the, the, <laughs> the junior meals. Did they prevent you from getting the junior meals? I'm like, man, I've had a rough life. That, <laughs> I'm not sure you No, Carrie, you can't have this. No. I'm sorry, but Carrie. <laughs> I just want the pony toy. I don't care if I'm a boy. Ah. Anyways. Um, and we Stubble. have, <laughs> so Gus and Bernie are out today. They are in Los Angeles filming Midnight, mm-hmm. which I hope everybody tunes in for. Um, it's actually airing tonight, so you can. What so, time? I don't know. <laughs> like 9, 9.30, close Some, to midnight, maybe. That, this, I don't know. Uh, this was I'll, bad. I'll, I'll look yeah. it up. I'll look it up. But this, that's, uh, that's like where they're, they're at right us. now. So you think they're lying to us? Yes. I think they're like, hey, it's okay, we'll have a show at midnight. That's at nine. Well, that's the way it works. Tell us more, Carrie. Because it's midnight other places. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. You, you I get it. On. No, okay. I get it. I just like, <laughs> it's like, it should just air at midnight for everybody. It's like, it's like when it's your midnight, you get it. Right? That's how things should be. No. That's it's not, fair. That you, is li- a, you live that in is the a, age of the internet. How is that ever going to work? fair. Yeah. That's true. Can you imagine anything... In this day and age, how, being released an hour at a time. But wait, how could you get something ahead of time legally? Um, no, I'm just kidding. What? I don't know. He's. I'm just. I'm making jokes. It's, they're bad. <laughs> they're, they're not bad real jokes. jokes. They're bad. They're no. bad. <laughs> it's, everything's bad. This is B team. I'm bringing B team. B quality jokes. But quality. But quality. But quality. Yeah. Well, actually, the but reason that, that the reason that I really wanted you to come on the patch this week, Carrie, uh, is because well, Bernie completely failed to talk about this last week. <laughs> It's Pokemon. They announced new Pokemon. Yep. It's a. Uh, it's this is Zelda. But... It's so they they announced <laughs> Alpha. Hold on. Alpha Sapphire. No, wait. So here's here's where I remember it. This the, the abbreviation. Like if you're typing okay. it, is Aorus. So it's Omega. Omega Ruby, Ruby Alpha, Alpha Sapphire. Sapphire. It's funny when they um. It's very embarrassing <laughs> to very admit this, but when they Orphus. Orphus. Yeah, Orphus. 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 Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna put it in the Orifice when I get it. I'm so excited for that game. Sorry. When they announced the new names, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I read it as there was Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and so I didn't put the Alpha and Omega together for ages. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, those names don't make any fucking it's, sense. It's just, it doesn't make any. Why it's... would you even do that? And <laughs> then I saw it somewhere else in the other order, and I was like, Oh, um, yeah. Every keeps putting Omega now. first. It doesn't doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah. Bets on whether they will make an Emerald. Chaos Emerald. Chaos That's what he keeps joking about, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can't do that though, right? It's gotta be like a Delta can. or like a Charlie. No, That's the other wait, thing too. hold on. It's not Charlie. I don't know. What's what's like exact Epsilon? middle? Epsilon? Yeah, there you go. Now we're just talking about AI. And, <laughs> um, I, say, I don't know, because every time they've done the remakes, they've never done the third game in the generation. Because they didn't do... Um, they didn't, they didn't do, do Crystal, Crystal, and they didn't do Yellow. So, do you think they're well, saving them all up for their yellow own remake was, group? What? What's wrong with Yellow? No, no, no. Let's talk about I'm, this. What's wrong with Yellow? Hey. Nothing's wrong yeah. with uh-huh. Yellow. It's just so not. For, he was behind you the whole time. I get that. He's your buddy. <sighs> See, I, I, I had Wait, read. Wait, hold on. Back up. So, what? okay. So, the, in have you, did you play Pokemon Yellow? No, I didn't. I my first Pokemon was X and Y, and I only played it because I needed one, to figure actually. out what the kids are doing. <laughs> That's it's actually a really good first, first one. one. It is, yeah. The best first one's red. Well, okay, I'm Come saying, on. but I'm saying, like in the modern age, it's a good first. I one. guess, yeah. If they made they made it as like a jumping in point. You can tell. Yeah. Um, yellow was like the first one where Pokemon would follow behind you. Yeah. Uh-huh. You would actually have like it's based on the actual. It's the only game that's based on the anime. 
So yeah. you play as Ash and not Red. Okay, yeah. and they are actually and like... P- well, Pikachu and is... Pikachu would follow you constantly. Yeah. Like he would just his little sprite would be behind you what throughout he, the entire world. Is he your only Pokemon? No, you would have other Pokemon, but if you had him in your party, he was there. Yeah. In later games, they then extended that to like every Pokemon. So the, you games. had all the Pokemon following behind you in a little ducky line. I wish no. It's just like <laughs> whoever's in like the top spot. It should be when you get to when, when, when like, you get to hundred and like when you when you yeah. four hundred and fifty Pokemon, it's just yeah. like a giant game of snake Dude, throughout the whole world. Four hundred fifty, <laughs> seven hundred twenty, man. The whatever, whatever it it's at now, it's like seven. Yeah, we got to do the whole trading thing and yeah, all that. that's not that hard. I'm working on it right now. Yeah, I'm working on a living on the decks too. Thing? Just kidding, oh I'm all. God, a living decks. Yeah, you're crazy. Is it going to be good to have? So you, there will be Pokemon Bank. Yeah, and so you can have everything from X and Y, and then you'll have these two new remakes as well. I assume that they will also have. Pokemon Bank support because otherwise, why do they have that app I'm now? I'm not sure it's going to work. So why is that? Good. Well, I, I'm sure I'm sure it's going to work. But I'm, the the reason I'm not sure is in all of the past games, you could always trade up for yeah. different generations, but you had to beat the game first. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure if you're going to have like Pokebank from right at the beginning in these new makes remakes, or I don't know how it's going to work. So in some like in. Every title, there's always those like few exclusive Pokemon that you can only get in that version. Right. Being that this is a remake, are they going to have those exclusives from the original versions? When you say exclusives, do you mean just like, you mean, like the, the ones that were Pokemon? the no no, no. Like the ones well, that are some of the legendary sapphire? Yeah, the, exactly. I'm assuming so. Being yeah. that it's a remake of that, will it have those exclusives so I don't have to go get my Pokemon or get my Game Boy Color? And get some of my old ones, and then trade them forward, and do that whole trading thing. The thing that well, I think what they're hoping kind of a do, nightmare to begin with. It is a nightmare, and that's why I'm waiting to do all that stuff because I want to see which Pokemon are in this game. Yeah, like I think the idea is you get Sapphire, I get Ruby, and mm-hmm. then we trade between each other. Of course. Well, yeah. So I don't. But the they'll the, probably. St- I mean, if it's anything like the Heart Gold and Soul Silver ones, they'll be like direct remakes. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's like everything is one to one, and then anything that was exclusive to. The, uh, the original title will still yeah. be in that one, so you don't have to do the whole, like, get old consoles, plug them in, yeah. and you should, all that I mean, stuff. The only, like, for, for like, I keep saying Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the only thing they changed was you could get third-gen Pokemon mm-hmm. in the second-gen remake. Yeah. Um, so I'm and hoping they fine. do something that's like cool. that. Yeah, no, it's fine, yeah. I'm just hoping that this will prevent me from having to trade up a lot. Yeah. I got to burp. Because I hate that shit. It was it was making me talk weird. I had to get it out because I'm right now. I'm stuck at a point where you can get like I think it's like 435 or something like that mm-hmm. in Pokemon X or Y. Then you have to keep trading up, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I, I and we're gonna we're gonna fight about this because I I went ahead uh-huh. and uh, I, so you had the <laughs> you bought a 3ds I, for Pokemon. So everyone was telling me that this was gonna be which 3ds a did great, you buy? Great Pokemon, uh, just standard 3ds XL, the did, Pokemon but, version. You got the Pokemon you, version. Yeah. You got the Pokemon. Which so, Pokemon yeah. version? Red. The Y one. Um, yeah. Give it yeah. To I like that you y. memorized which one's um, which. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, look at this. Oh. So the thing that, See, the thing is, that always... This is what happens uh, to us we, when we, we forget, when we, when we don't have the A team. If, if I shake it, we'll In all reality, when we don't have Stop Ryan, because he's the only... Yeah, he's Ryan's the, he's, always the... He's always the... He's the stickler. The, the turner. Okay, um, also Kara says she'll yell for us. She'll yell, yeah. <laughs> she'll let us know. So, you guys shut up. Okay. The thing that I really didn't like is there was a lot... Like, I I started coming across that where it's like, to get... A living decks, you know, yeah. or to even even just to unlock all of them. Right. It's like I was gonna have to trade up from systems I don't have, games yeah. that are old, or like I plugged in my red just to see if I could get some of my old ones from yeah. there. That save game's gone, so it's like well, you can't the, the unfortunately. It's it's so much work. It is. It's like a ridiculous amount of work. It's easy from black. White, black two, and white two. Everything else is a pain in the ass. Well, because you have to transfer to the next one up, and then you have to transfer to the right. next one up, and you have yeah. to chain them. Yeah, those. Yeah. So like those four games, you can do. I think it's called. I can't remember what's called. Like Pokey Transport, or something like that. It's something. Yeah. Uh, and you can just put them directly to the bank. Everything else, you've got to do this thing where like you've got to beat the game. You've got to beat both of the games. Then you've got to you know like here's these six. Do it. Change the cart. Put them in. You see that's go. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. You do it six at a time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't just send yeah. them all. Yeah, every game is that different way. I think uh, the most recently, or some of the most recent ones, is you pick like six from your party, and you can like go and recatch them. Uh, they like they put them in this area where you go to recatch. It's annoying. I've never done it yeah. because I just people I, do that. Yeah, like by choice. Yeah, man, that's you wanna, you, he's you doing fold. it. Like he's working, working on, on it right, right now. now. Yeah, I'm just. Getting it's all... gonna take him like two years. Nah. To I'm get getting, all of his Pokemon. Look, I've got you know how there's like three Pokedexes in yeah. X and Y. I've got one done. I'm halfway through the second one, and then I've got like 
half of the third one. Again. You're crazy. It's not. It's not that hard. You are, I have a list. You are an insane it, it's not. I have already. It's just like a ridiculous amount of I'm patience sure of just like waiting to get all the the trades and everything set up. And I just I don't have that kind of time. I don't have that kind of patience. I have that kind of time. I don't have that kind of commitment. That, I mean, yeah. there, there is nothing in my life I've well, loved and, enough to go through and move something wow, he, six he at a time and rehash them. You're on something else now. What? No. I don't know what you're doing. I, have, I, have, I don't know what I'm doing. I have a list. Like, I went through and I broke down, like, all the Pokemon I need to get. Oh, my God. And, like, these are the ones I need to trade. These are the ones I need stones for. These are the ones oh I can gosh. catch. These are the ones I'm leveling up. Yeah. This is why I do my free time. Yeah. <laughs> I just sit there. Like I, like, I go through, like, the list. I'm like, I have, like, a Google Doc that has like all of the Pokemon and I like color code them when I get them and stuff. Yeah, this is my life. So this is like a big deal for you. Yeah, like, absolutely it is. Yeah. Like what yeah. happens if someone like stole your DS? I am so afraid of that. <laughs> I, I'm really, I should put them in the bank. Yeah. So that like, they're just there, but then I'm afraid the bank's going to fail. Yeah, You're, of course. This is like, this is right now, this is hiding it in my mattress. That, like I'm, I'm holding <laughs> under the Pokemon. And I'm like, no, I don't trust the banks. But like, I feel like Joel. It's like, no, gold. <laughs> but this Sorry, is I'm put in a box. Like, I've never your house. seen... I've never seen that level of organization yeah. for playing a video game. So, so what, do you, what do you get when you get all of them? Uh, when you get them all, it's like a little screen appears. It's like, hey, you got them all. <laughs> that's it. So it's, it's, does like, it, does it just it's change? not even like an achievement that's like no. you get to brag about no. forever. It's like, I got oh, the seven I'm, second I'm absolutely going to brag about it. One. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you can't. Like you're gonna carry. I'll have like Gary Oathker. It'll be amazing. I'll be like, I got them all, guys. I don't think you understand. <laughs> You need oh to get a tattoo gosh. that says "I caught them all." Exactly, and then it'll immediately be obsolete when the and next have, game comes and, out. <laughs> yeah, and have like a picture of it, and have the picture of like that screen that yeah, you get tattooed like, on hey, you. Yeah, it's just like you go up to the professor, he's like, "Good job," and I'm like, that, "Sweet." <laughs> <laughs> wow, no. the touch is getting I do that a lot. I specifically do that on the 3ds, like uh, you know, Super Mario 3D World. Yeah, I have. Every do you ha- star. Do, wait, do you have a Google Doc for Super I don't, Mario 3D World? I didn't have World. to because it tracks everything. I have. All of the f- <laughs> well, it's. <laughs> I have. Like, I don't need all the of Google us. Doc. No, I don't need it. For yeah, me. I'm good. <laughs> I have a uh, like you can have like you know like on your save file you get like stars. Mm-hmm. Got all five stars. They're all shiny, and I got my max lives in that game. Like I was just oh the 3ds gosh. games. I don't know what it is. I just like 100 percent them. Yeah, if I played the 3ds as much as you, I would have kept my 3ds. Which is but which is why I hate you. You got rid of your 3ds. I he did. Sold his 3ds. I, I, I did. I sold my 3ds right before a price drop. Actually, he didn't even just like the, keep it to gather dust for the next game that you well, felt like oh, it did I'll that be, for uh, two months, and then yeah. I was like, two "This months. is a two hundred dollar yeah. console really? plus a forty dollar game." I I haven't. You touched only it. gave it two months. Yeah, I didn't touch it once for two months. Well, Mario golf's out. Yeah, but I don't that, care. But the new Kirby's the Mario out. Games, the new Kirby so game's amazing. I don't. I don't have. Like, is that Disneyland version of nah. Animal Crossing, whatever it's called? Magical I'm enjoying World. Xbox 360. Don't tell my girlfriend about that. <laughs> I'm enjoying my computer. She still plays I'm Animal good. Crossing every day. She's played it like every day since it came out. Okay, now imagine Animal Crossing, yeah. but Disney, oh right? God. Oh, no. No. Stacy, stop with, stop watching. <laughs> <laughs> no. Stacy, Stacey, we'll talk later. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, it's, it's, it's good. This has seriously been like my favorite console of like the current, like, all the current gen stuff. I just found myself not like not playing it, and then right. when I when I get home, it's like I'll, I'll sit down and I'll play the DS and I'll play it for like fifteen minutes, mm-hmm. and and then it would be just like I'm gonna go uh, play on my computer. Yeah, you're also, and then you know I'm I'm you're a big computer guy. Th- yeah, I everything I play is on the PC. If yeah. unless it's a console exclusive, I get it on the PC. Mm. Speaking of which, you've been playing WildStar, haven't you? I have. A lot. So, the, so it's it. it's open beta. <laughs> it's so it's an open beta right now. It's open beta right now. Uh, the open beta closes, I think, Sunday night. Okay. Um, is it? Is it? So like actually, here's, here's some footage. This is the raid footage. They just released this. Uh, I think Tuesday. And this is the high. This is like the high this level is, end game stuff. Yeah. This is like when you when you hit max level when you go through everything. This is this is what you're going to be spending time doing. Either this or, or PVP, which they've already released that video. Mm-hmm. Um, but this is something I'm really excited for because it's something that's. Personally, I feel it's the first time that that raiding has actually uh, evolved. In in most games, how's it evolving? The well, it's it's much more movement based. It's much more like the telegraphs change how you play, and it's one of those things that you sit down and you can look at it and you immediately get the information without having to have the whole like timers and. We have to read a Wikipedia page that, before you go. Yeah, into exactly. It. Yeah. Or you know, busting out Excel spreadsheets of or all these start different a things. Doc. Of, of, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm. I'm yeah. Look, don't. It's with me everywhere. Google Docs are amazing. <laughs> that they are. They are. I mean, it's, a, it's, it's great. The, yeah. I have that, some Google Docs. I can't. Yeah. I'm I can't. just gonna move on from that. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's on my iPad. It's on my iPhone. See, I have I have Google Documents and Excel spreadsheets of like DPS rotations in WildStar and in WoW and all the other yeah. games I've ever played. So I, I I get you. You get it. Yeah. I thought you said you didn't need. Google Docs the, for for something like the, Wildstar. It, it's different. It's just rating. That uh, it, it's not it's the a, same it's a different thing. Like yeah, yeah, World of Warcraft would be. Yeah, for example. In in World of Warcraft, like finding that optimum DPS rotation is insanely important, and one thing wrong can can mean the difference between you being really really good and not. That was like um, the one thing I never got into in World of Warcraft mm -hmm. was rating, mainly because I like, I couldn't find friends. Like enough people rating go so, figure. So if you if, you, if you're having a problem <laughs> okay. with rating or finding That's enough okay. people, actually, WoW right now has they're they're getting ready to put out Warlords of Draenor at some point this year. Mm. Um, Is that new but, DLC? The yeah, uh, okay. expansion. But, oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot. That, that was doing... the word for DLC for expansion. <laughs> yeah, but before <laughs> yeah. DLC. Before it was uh, DLC, it was <laughs> expansion. Yeah, yeah, it was the same fucking. So thing. So they're doing flex rating, which is actually you you kind of just bring however just, many people you, just you have walk with up you. And go, <laughs> I've been going to the gym. This will be better. I'm going to take Glenn rating. I got some protein powder if you guys want to. <laughs> I'm serious. No, so they do flex rating, yeah. and, and in that, you can you can jump in if you only have like 11 people. Oh, so it's like scalable. Yeah, everything scales, uh, uh, except cool. for like the very, very top super competitive tier. Right. Everything scales. Um, now, that's not the case in Wildstar. Wildstar is kind of, at least right now, in the beginning, you know, they're mm -hmm. still figuring it out. Yeah. Uh, they're they're setting at twenty man and then forty man rating, which I'm really excited for. I, I loved Sounds it back in, in World of Warcraft, and it's one of those things that having that many people, it even just doing like going to the dungeon is yeah. fun because it's just like there's so many people on the screen all yeah. running towards a different area and they've all got different mounts and I, I really love that kind of gameplay. Yeah, uh, and that, that's uh, that's why I'm most excited for WildStar. Did you ever play the very first Planet Side? The yeah, forever ago. Oh my god, I love that. Uh, that was my first MMO. Really? And that was like one of my favorite moments. Is like we had like three drop ships that were just uh -huh. like going in. It was like forty people. Yeah. Just like dropped on the that, space. It was like that amazing. moment. Yeah. Of like you and a ton of other people. Yeah. For me is is what makes MMOs, you know, awesome. Have you ever I, thought about I, going into politics? The, no. Because you and a large group of people <laughs> could do something and change the world. No. Okay, that's fine. Or you no. could just go raiding. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can or you make a Google. I'm gonna doc. do that. You can you can flex raid. <laughs> yeah. Protein powder, play Pokemon. So yeah, that's fine. open beta is is right now. You can go wildstaronline.com, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, download, try it out. Is um, it uh, is it you have to register before Saturday or it ends on Saturday? It, it, it ends Sunday night. Sunday night. Okay. So is that the entire beta? That will be. It will be it's done? the end of open beta. Because then it goes into launch, right? They, yeah. So next month? it starts. The head start if you pre-order the game is uh, May thirty first. Okay. Uh, at like. 2 a.m. Central Time, of course, um, which, which is which midnight is, somewhere. That it's midnight Pacific, which is why they're doing it. You know what they should do is they should just let people <laughs> in when it turns midnight in their area. Right? I always had. Okay, look, look, look. <laughs> yeah, I've had a, I've had a lot of things happen where it's like the game comes out 2 2 a.m. here uh -huh. because it's midnight Pacific. It should just come out midnight. I had to stay up when I was like 14. I was like, oh, I want to play the Halo beta, but it's like 2 a.m. Yeah, I mean, yeah. MMOs are one of those things that are like fiercely competitive, so. Like some people would true. legitimately like, if they lived yeah. on Pacific, they would go and like crash at a friend's house on the East Coast so they can get those some that, people that three hour advantage. Some, some people. people, I might. Yeah, <laughs> might. I don't. I don't blame you for that. I have been seriously contemplating. There's a. Uh, I collect these like uh, they're called Nendoroid figures, and there's one for Red from Pokemon oh, yeah? that only they're only selling in Japan. Oh man. So I was like. I've always wanted to go to Japan. Can you hmm. can you not like just buy it and have it shipped? eBay it. I don't think so. Like it's or... like there's like the Pokemon yeah. Center. I can eBay. Yeah, it's gonna be more expensive. So we'll see. Or just go to Japan. probably a lot yeah. cheaper than an airplane ticket it's to like, Japan. You know what? I, I guess if you're looking Japan. for an excuse, it, it might cost. It's yeah. Like, yeah. It might cost a couple extra dollars to eBay. You know what? It's a good time to go to Japan. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Thousand dollar flight. I don't yeah. even know how much. I mean, those it's are, just like really expensive lots shipping. Lots of dollars. That, yeah. yeah, lots, lots of dollars. But then I can do that flight, and I'll like go in like the cocoon. <laughs> like, the, like over i'll just play pokemon in there mm -hmm. you know i always figured i would travel a lot more i would not like i don't care about teleportation don't want any mm. of that stuff i would travel to like the sun and back if i could just get one of those spaceships like they had in fifth element where they just push a button <laughs> and then you're just like passed out for the whole time that would be yeah and you wake up when you get there you just like refresh you're like ah yeah. restart the day nah. i would travel a lot more uh, places so, for me I, I don't trust those Really? Yeah. You just think you think you'll like you'll never wake up, or you'll like you'll wake up. There'll and be some be, like, software someone, bug like, and then I'll you like or something. <laughs> wow. I, I trust teleportation I, I a lot. I'm not trusting people. That's oh. it's not, I, I don't trust the technology yet, and just that uh. like something that puts me to sleep for. You don't think you can get however many times? <laughs> <laughs> 
What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> look. <laughs> look. You want me on the patch is what you get. Diddle and robot Diddlin arms. Diddle and robot arms. Wow. What? Sex. That's your fetish? Uh, hold on. I, it's well, like I just, just waking up. I didn't say I And it's like robot it. arms. I said it was a fear of mine. <laughs> so the first sunset overdrive came <laughs> by. <laughs> and time for our sponsors. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even know where to go from diddling robot arms. Yeah. The, there's, it's, there's not a smooth segue. So from, for Wildstar, yes. uh, when, when the NDA first went up, or yes. like was, you know, expired, whatever, um, one of the things that I read, not having played Wildstar myself, because uh -huh. I, I just don't trust myself around MMOs. Like at all? No, no, no. I, I played I five that. MMOs, so, and then I just like I I went <laughs> I just quit because I was I my gr like my grades in school. Like you can tell when I started playing EverQuest because yeah. I was like straight A, straight A, straight A, and I'm like C's pretty good. I, uh, mine did the you know, same I thing. Never... I, just, I just live with it. Yeah, I did right. the exact same thing you did. I was so, like when you were up in Destiny. Four. Yeah. yeah. Like, was that just, like, dangerously too close? Because I know they're saying it's not an MMO, but you look at it and it's like... There's certainly elements. It's pretty close. I, mean, I feel like Destiny kind of, kind of straddles the line. Right. Yeah. They, they very specifically, you'll notice, never refer to it as an MMO. I know. It's a persistent world, and it, you know, there's places where there's lots of people, and then there are... What yeah. I think of is like instanced dungeons. Uh, there are, are instances. You know, like those raids there and all are sort of quests. Stuff. There are raids. It's a persistent world. Kind of, I mean, you know, that's like an MMO that doesn't have the MMO label, you know? Yeah. It's close. It is, it's at least very close. I, I want to know from their viewpoint what makes it not. I get why they're saying like it's not an MMO because they don't want to be compared to WoW because it's very. Those two games are the, so different. They're not the even term like. MMO close. seems to come with a lot of. A Stigmata, lot of like terrible. loaded expectations, yeah. you know. And, then, and if it if it if you differentiate from that formula, then mm -hmm. and there's a lot of people who say or you know who play a game that is exactly like an MMO, and then they're like, "Wow, this is not." You know uh, about early opinions with the NDA. Sorry, yeah, we yeah. Segwayed so, with sorry, the so, whole um, MMO conversation. So I, one of the things that I've always really liked about Wildstar is its look. Mm -hmm. Like it's it it's got that sort really of like cool. That, that cool cartoony, and it's one of those that's one of those styles that I feel ages very very well because. Yep. It's not trying to be realistic, and then mm. you look at it a couple years later, and you go, "Well, this, does, isn't this isn't realistic at all because it it's, it's you know it didn't even attempt in the first right. place. It yeah. went cartoony, and those age a lot better. Yeah. So I think that's really good, especially for a game like an MMO. They also stay where away from they, Uncanny they live Valley a long time. Yes. Which yeah. it, I mean, if you're not aware, Uncanny Valley is one of those things where that as graphics get you know better and better and better, we get to this point that graphics start getting too close to being human, and you look at something and you're like. And you're almost off put by it because it's just like this is not these graphics are terrible, but they're actually really good and really close to being realistic. But they're just but not they're just, there. They're, yeah, there's like for me, it, it really hit me in in Mass Effect Three, where it's oh, like yeah, I can see that. for some reason the entire time every part in Mass Effect Three where there was like Shepard's face on the screen, mm. his eyes just didn't seem right, and that made me hate the graphics. That's usually you know what, what it is. I it's get like that, one thing. I got that yeah, a little bit eyes. from. So then they did the new trailer for the new Call of Duty with Kevin yeah. Spacey. Like yeah. as Kevin Spacey, yeah. but I'm like, oh look, it's plastic Kevin Spacey. Yeah, it's which the is same like thing it's for, actually uh, like it's really it's really close. It's really but good. I've seen Kevin Spacey. Yeah, and this is life. not. Yeah, have you seen Mr. Spacey? I wish. Oh. <laughs> it was the same. Uh, uh, it's the same thing for Kristen Bell in the Assassin's Creed games. It was with like the difference looked, that I didn't feel like she looked close enough. I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. She well, and that for me that actually made it worse because it was like I could see they were they were like making her different, but it's like it looks like her like sister or something now. Like it looked weird. Yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. it freaked me out. I yeah, had nightmares. I I do like I, I do like the more games seem to be going away from the photo yeah. realistic look. Yeah, maybe they've realized. Maybe that's just not a thing they want to deal with. And I thank them for it. Yeah. Yep. One of the other things that I really like that Wildstar's art direction has taken is that they are... Uh, I don't know if they're purposely doing it, but it seems like they're purposely doing it in their, that they're avoiding the like the gray and brown color that you, you every mean, you MMO... Mean, you mean next gen? The, well, I mean, you, you look at that's the not, MMOs... Just, that's like, not even MMO. It's like Gears of War started that. The, it's like, yeah. It, there's a ton of games four, where it's yeah. just like everything is just like gray and brown. Yeah, and that's yeah. just all but it that is. Was, that was the like the early, the first early couple of games in the 360 generation. Yeah, like really? that that was like an mm -hmm. era. Was like it was like oh look, next gen is brown. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that that was like a running joke for the first couple of years yeah. that Xbox 360 and PS3 were out. Was like oh look, look how next gen it is. It's brown. It's yeah. brown and knee high walls. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah lots of knee oh, high man, walls. Oh man, a lot of 
Perfect cover plates. This is crazy. Did you just hit your knee? The, yeah, my knee just came uh, out of socket. So but, that's pretty um, cool. <laughs> oh, you, got that, oh, you got that thing. But I, one of the reasons that I actually really no. liked um, the, well, am liking so far the look of um, Sunset Overdrive is because yeah. it's so like aggressively colorful mm -hmm. and that's yeah. something that yep. they do really well yeah it feels Absolutely. like it feels like mirror's edge with like more than just white and red everywhere yep. yeah and it's it nice looks really cool it's the i'm excited because this is the first <laughs> that... time we've actually seen gameplay mm -hmm. you know there was the the trailer they put out last year 83 was was awesome you know, it, yeah. was, it was very obviously like, the, this is not what the game is going to look like. Yeah, that would be cool, too. I like that <laughs> a lot. But I like that all of the elements from that sort of reveal trailer are in the gameplay. Yeah. You know, you, you really are swinging around on things, and the guns are absolutely ridiculous, like, you know, teddy bear grenade launchers, essentially. So and sorry, go ahead. Is it's just like it's just so over the top, and I like that. Where I wouldn't play a zombie game, mm. this is different enough that I absolutely would play it. Yeah. Is this the first time we're actually seeing gameplay? Yeah, it okay. was just released. Do this we is know the first gameplay what, they've done at all. In so, fact, they've been dark for a year. Yeah. Mm. Do we know how much you actually control your character? I mean, we saw in the trailer of, you know, everything... He's, like, grabbing on walls and spinning around walls and running across a... I think that was a power line. All sorts of crazy yeah. stuff. My, my concern is that in some games, they... Those are the rail moments. That, well, they're the rail moments, or they're kind of like... It's to the degree that the engine almost plays itself, mm -mm. and it's an enjoyable experience because you get to see your character doing cool stuff. But at the same time, all you're doing is like pushing up and like Assassin's tapping Creed. A. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Assassin's Creed was one of the ones that kind of pioneered it. In yeah. that you start off and you just kind of like push forward, and he which, just makes decisions of just like climbing up different stuff and doing some stuff. And which, to be fair, it probably looks cooler than if I tried to do it on my that, own like it's going to be better and it's going to give me like a more like fluid experience yes it looks better but right. it also leads to moments where it's like that's not what i wanted to do right i, I wanted yeah. to do i thought i could do something else mm. and i tried to go that direction and it was like oh well i guess that's not there also possible a lot or of people just tough wondering in like the uh the new call of duty trailer it's like there's a lot of things they do in the trailer they're like yeah but that's all scripted stuff that yeah you know and a lot of it probably is it i probably know is. that for for sunset Mm -hmm. uh, what they I haven't played it myself, so this mm -hmm. is all you know secondhand. But um, the developers said that they wanted to strike a balance between Assassin's Creed, which they feel is too easy as far right. as the yeah. the navigation park goes. They but they don't want to go um, sort of as hard and sort of specific as something like Tony Hawk, okay. where there's like mm -hmm. a, like where you very very every specific little yeah, move. instead of like button presses for every little thing. So, so they don't no want to go to that flips. degree. Um, but they do want to have a little grinding, bit more grinding. to it than just like holding the button and going that way. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that sounds that's like cool. the right balance. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I know that um, based on like people who have um, had hands on time, they say it is a little bit magnetic. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, and they're like, I didn't feel like I should have made this connection, but I did. Like, mm. like magically, I was there. Interesting. Um, so, you know, so it's forgiving. Right. Because I think they want to encourage you to go do crazy stuff like you should right. be walking like on the ground as little as possible which is also <laughs> yeah see what they should do is just explain that the whole world is metal and you have magnet shoes and then it'll make sense and gloves and gloves yeah You're i guess like, there's there's no limit to like how long you can wall run that's cool sweet i like stuff like that yeah yeah so it's just like like they they basically said like so what like, if it doesn't make sense up. so what it's gonna be fun yeah and we'd rather have it be fun than yeah. be like oh well this conforms to all these rules and rules of mm -hmm. reality I think I think that's like one of the reasons I've been really digging Nintendo a lot lately is like I'm tired of games that take themselves super seriously. It's just I'm just it's not for me like right now. It's just like I'm just not in the mood for games that are like are super serious. I want I want Mario Golf. I want Kirby. It's <laughs> Kirby Triple Star, which is amazing. You want like so it, you it's amazing. like the things yeah. that I don't. In right. That for me, I, I mean, I I like games that don't take themselves very seriously. Wildstar being a big testament of that. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, like playing the same game for i feel like i've been playing a lot of nintendo's games for 20 years no, i get that and there has been some innovation um but actually i i got to play mario kart 8 a little bit uh yeah. earlier and we'll we'll talk about that at the end of the patch like in a little oh, in, in more depth okay. so it's, sort of it's, I'll, yeah. I'll explain this you i'll see, explain this it's gonna, it. be, it's gonna be sort of an end um <laughs> but there's more to it so i'll explain it when we get there yeah. okay it's like here then stay, we do it stay tuned that's, that's when we do it yeah but continue um so yeah, I, like I, some of my frustration with Nintendo has been, it's another Mario game. 
And it's just like, I, I, I've I played that game, yeah. and I've played it enough. And actually, to some degree, that was my problem with Pokemon, is I played mm-hmm. Pokemon, and it it didn't feel like, from from the time I played it as a kid, right. and, and there was a decent bit of that, I'm sure, that was just like nostalgia, that I absolutely loved it and kind of looked past a lot of its faults. And you really you and just played it over and over again. The, yeah. And, and then I played it again, you know, six months mm-hmm. ago, and I don't feel like it evolved or got any better. <laughs> like it, it, Did it mega evolve? See. I yeah, I tried to set up for that. There's gonna be new mega evolutions the, the, too. Really? So, yeah, in uh, in Orphis. Cool. Uh, I it, for me, it's w- I've played this game Orphis. Enough. in Orphis. There's gonna be a mega evolution in Orphis. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Anybody? All right. Anyways. Yeah, just, I know. Just gonna keep just like yeah, dragging it down Absolutely. and just beating it Doing there until it's, it's completely Doing his best. gone. Yeah, until I'm just gonna deal it with robot arms. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I, I I get that. At the same time, I don't know. For me, I'm. S- I see like the new Mario game, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is the Wii, ver- Wii U version of like Super Mario 3D World and Land. Like, it was the same, basically the same game on the Wii U and mm-hmm. the 3DS, which is different levels, but they added enough nice things. It looks that much nicer. That for me, it's like, oh, I enjoyed playing through this game on the 3DS. I will probably also enjoy playing through on the Wii. I'll just go ahead and do it. You know, and they had the cat suit, they add stuff. You mm-hmm. know, I totally get it though. Yeah, it's. It's, I feel like they just need more franchises. Yeah. And they're also they're starting to bring some back. You know, like the the Kirby games have been putting a lot more time and effort into. They also just need Kirby new ones. Games. They oh, need I new like, ones too. I uh, it, it's I feel like there's like one new IP a year that comes out of Nintendo. Well, just one. Now that um, now that Miyamoto said he's off Mario, right. he's specifically working on new IP. So see, hopefully awesome. we'll start to see that yeah. um, eventually a little bit. Yeah, right. that'd, uh, that'd be really cool. <clears throat> Allow me to put on my radio voice and read this <laughs> a little bit. Your mission, snack smarter to get in shape by summer. Your enemy, the vending machine. But when you're starving at 3 p.m., all cranky and lightheaded, the evil vending machine can seem like your only friend, especially if you're Carrie. Don't give in. Head over to naturebox.com. Naturebox sends great tasting snacks right to your door, and they're great for you, too. We're talking healthy snacks like barbecue kettle kernels, everything bagel sticks, South Pacific plantain chips, and over 100 more with zero trans fat, zero high fructose corn syrup, and nothing artificial. Even snacks that are gluten conscious and non-GMO. There'll be a quiz after this. With free shipping anywhere in the U.S., NatureBox is busting up the vending machine's monopoly on your midday hunger. Try NatureBox now and get 50% off your first box by going to naturebox.com forward slash rooster teeth. That's naturebox.com slash the patch or rooster teeth. I don't know. Try both of them. They're both this on is here. the patch on the screen. Okay. Go to slash the patch. Stay full. <laughs> stay strong. Go to naturebox.com slash the patch. That's naturebox.com slash the patch. I was helping. There was a thank you, Teeth. <laughs> there was a there was a, a funny thing on one of the late night shows where they went around. Um, I think a gym asking people if they were gluten free. Mm. People go, yes, yes, of course I'm gluten free. They go, all right, what's gluten? <laughs> Nobody knew Nobody. what gluten was. They just yeah. knew that they were gluten free. I didn't know for you the know longest time. It's isn't it just like all like wheat products and stuff like that? I yeah, don't know. it's it's like a enzyme or a yeah. thing that's in wheat. That's as far as I got. Yeah. And I know, some, th- I know that are, I can eat it. And some people are some yeah. like actually allergic. I think celiacs. Yeah. There's a there's an allergy to it. Um, John really, Racinger actually. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Is uh, has that. He can't smell anything. Can't. So. Yeah. And, uh, he can't eat. Bread. He can't smell that, the gluten. That before guy's it gets done. a wreck. Yeah. He's a <laughs> sweet dog though. He, he does, does have a sweet oh dog. The redemption dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. So we were talking about things, mm-hmm. and they were funny, but. I want to talk about something a little bit more serious Ooh. because something it's something I'm upset about okay. actually. So this is Is it that Pokémon's not out yet right now? No, but okay. you can get Pokémon Art Academy or something like that. That's That's true. No, it's not out yet. Pokémon Art Academy. Art Academy. They're doing a crossover between um yeah. Pokémon and the N- Nintendo's Art Academy like art games yeah. and they're going to teach you to draw Pokémon. Ah. So they teach you to draw by using Pokémon. You like See, I've just been tracing stuff. for like the last 20 that's years. That's essentially so that, what the that, game is. The game well. is just tracing. I just draw stick figures. <laughs> yeah. and, and tracing the game yeah. by Nintendo. Yeah, I draw penises. But this is something I think is going to be close to your heart. I, I think it's Steam, and it's early access. Oh, and there's yeah. a couple yeah. things about it that that make me mad. So the first he was cleared, he cleared the drink out of the way. He's like, my arms his, are gonna oh get my, angry. I, I, I just heard all of his like fingers pop. By sorry. the way, I'm not sure if he's ready to throw down. <laughs> that was or probably what. in the mic. Now I'm sure I'm it was little, loud enough. Now, now I'm a little bit concerned, and I feel like I should be stretching out. Uh, there was a game called 
um, Earth Year 2066. Right. And Good this year. was a game that um, that someone had, they tried to fund it on Indiegogo. It made like right. $160. So then they moved it to Steam Early Access. Of course. And if you see this trailer, you it's like the worst thing you've ever seen. I don't know who would actually like spend money on this. Um, it, it literally looks like a, almost like a programming student's first project. It right? kind of looks well, like a mod for Gary's mod. Um, yeah, see, that's the thing. Yeah. Is, is There's a lot of games out there that look like that. Like that, that are playgrounds that are, are, you know, the assets aren't what draw you to the game. It's because you can do cool stuff. Look at Goat Simulator. Like, if well, you look no, at the no, engine. Well, no, hang on. If you look at Goat Simulator, the engine and some of the early graphics of it are like, you know, you see the goat like stretch and do weird things that. It still does you would, that. You would, I know, it's on purpose. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying is that it, it's not necessarily like a bad game, even though the model can do ridiculous things and looks strange. But that's part of the fun. Goat but where, but Goat, game, Simulator, Goat Simulator actually has gameplay. Yes. <laughs> and, and you works. Can, and, and it works. <laughs> so the problem with Earth Year 66 is it got... So first of all, it got greenlit. So it was a yep. you know, community right. greenlit game, they, and they got, gave it approval. Three months later, this guy releases it on Early Access. I assume it's made by like one dude, essentially. Probably. And, um, Some type of basement or attic. Some type. Not, not like so first definitely, floor. Definitely not a ground level no, sort of something. project. Mm -hmm. And... It doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It's it's juddery, and there is also nothing that happens. It's like there are like three or four like random waves of enemies that spawn. Right. That is it. That's all there is. There's there's this one area you can go around and explore, but it's basically what was in that trailer. There's nothing else. There's no like gameplay. This. There's no exploration. There's no progression. There's nothing. So is there? And I guess he figured that this is early access, so you can play the. Pre, pre, maybe it was pre alpha too early or whatever, access, wherever yeah. it was, but it was so early access that it just it they early access released a game that simply does not work. Right. We and, talked. We talked about this last time I was on the patch, and it was really and, and and I was upset about, and I can't even remember what game it was that had come out that was super early access. There's another one like um, that. Yeah. Yeah, and it it, it seems like this is becoming a reoccurring trend where there needs to be a certain, uh, especially with Steam being making games available. There needs to be a bar yeah. that says you can't just get early access and be like, oh, you know, you can play it. Well, ever um, since Minecraft came out and did that, where there's like, hey, here's the game early, but and then yeah. here's the game a little bit later, here's the game a little bit later. I feel like everybody's been trying to do that well, now. But they have they have responsibility. Like they do. Minecraft, Minecraft Alpha, like still worked. No, that's what I'm saying though. Is like I feel like they did it and they're successful. So now everybody's yeah. just like, oh yeah, we'll just give them the early game. There have yeah. been a lot of really successful. Um, Things that have done that with early sure. access that haven't abused it. I mean, you know, Daisy is rough. Right. It's extraordinarily rough, but it's <laughs> but it's is, is that an overall at, at something launch, that you it can was, play. Yeah, yeah, you could play it. <laughs> was it better there was, than this? There was one gun. There was one pistol. Uh, a lot of stuff didn't work. Daisy was really rough. Uh, Daisy. How long do you think they should have waited? Like, how many more updates do you think that they should have waited with Daisy before making it available via early access? I think pretty much where it is now. Okay, so uh, it should just be it, releasing it, it is, now. It is reaching a point now that I'm enjoying it, uh, mm -hmm. and there are, you know, you can you can run around the world and explore. Um, actually, no, I, I take that back. Um, you know, the zombies right now are still really, really messed up, and they're not spawning right. Uh, and in the world, in all these servers, um, nothing nothing respawns. So you run into this problem, and actually, Wait, if you what? watch if you watch the Let's Play with me, Joel, and Adam, we ran right. into this all the time, where it's like we run through the world and everything was gone. Everything was gone because mm. you start, you know, in a place that everyone starts and everyone has already taken everything from there. And if that server is up for even eight hours, right? anything that is near your spawn is gone. So you start the game and it's basically, hey, there's nothing here. Uh, enjoy dying. Um, also try to fight zombies with nothing. It is if a there are really... Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, there are zombies. But zombies, like, up. But I mean, zombies are like the least... Dangerous part of and right. in like Daisy and in Daisy standalone right now they are even less just because they are so few um, and How? then there are very buggy where they can just still you know walk right through a wall and there's nothing more <laughs> frustrating than like what if they're like vampires climbing zombies? through a building and hiding and the vampire just like screw this I'm just gonna walk right you through the vampire. wall and kill you that is you know it, it, the game is not in a place that it is that I feel. That they're able to charge for it. How big is the map? It's not procedurally generated. It's not it? procedurally generated. It is huge, though. It's okay. something like twenty square kilometers. Oh wow! Um, it is an enormous map. Okay. It is. It is one of those things. But they have some very key problems to their server code that 
it's not a super enjoyable, fun game. Mm. Um, like, Do you think they should have just left it as a mod? No, I think standalone was the right decision and I, in, in the right direction, but I think it needed more time, especially to just fix some of the, the early code that encourages uh, solo play and, and stuff like that. Right now, it's if, if a group has come through and combed an area, there's nothing there. And, That's kind of and right now, some of the, the, that encourages server hopping. Where you just right. like jump to a different server and keep looking for stuff and jump a server, jump a server, jump Do your server, jump server. Keep, uh, can you keep the same character through multiple servers? Yeah, you keep your stuff okay. through all the servers, but all the servers don't respond anything. So you'll have some servers out there that are like, you know, the loot pinata server. And <laughs> what they do is they reboot it every 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes you get disconnected and everything in the world respawns. So you play for an hour on a server like that where everything is just constantly plentiful, right. and then you get all the gear in the game, and then you go to what I would call a real server. Uh, and, and then you, you have everything. And, and then you, you have can... everything. You can kill everyone and do everything. It, it doesn't, it's, it's not creating fair gameplay, and there right. are mechanics that are just like, you know, oh, you just have to loot cycle a certain area and re-log to different servers over and over again. Daisy standalone is sort of a, a weird thing for me. Didn't he initially expect to release it in 2012? Like he, he announced um, it and announced it in like yes. I want to say like August so 2012. Or it was something initially like going to go up against Infestation, which was originally called World War Z. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's right. And speaking of another game that got greenlit on early access and Steam did take down, um, they, they he thought there was going to be a lot of competition there, and mm -hmm. that game kind of fizzled. Um, and then he made the decision to kind of hold off, and they waited. I think an entire other, an, another year before actually releasing standalone. Mm -hmm. um, and but, I mean, it did so great. He, it he made. Amount. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. There's a lot of changes. The, but what and, would it be like if they if they released it on early access, which wasn't actually a thing right. at the time? Yeah. But what if they what if it existed and they had released it when in August or September or like before the end of the year in 2012? I mean, how rough would that have been? That's a really weird projection mm -hmm. to say. We think we'll have it out by the end of this year. It probably would have been like the 266 game. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it would have been it. It. it I, I won't go that far because sure. they they had an engine. Yeah. And it worked. Um. There would have been certain problems. Like I know, I know one of the big things that they worked on when they delayed the game was mm -hmm. the server code. That's good. So like you couldn't teleport anywhere in the world, um, which was a problem in the mod. In the mod, the server just trust the. The mod wasn't set up in such a way. I just heard the words, the server trusted him. <laughs> <laughs> he knows me. It's fine. The, <laughs> he's, he's not going to wake me up in the middle of sleep. Your, your client, your game, could tell the server anything, and the server would just say, sure. You want to be at the other side of the map? Sure. And so you'd have hackers who could do absolutely crazy things, like spawn cows in the sky that fall, and when they hit the ground, bombs go off. Like, ridiculous, crazy exploit Ryan. hack stuff. And, and I mean, that, to me, is what killed the mod. Mm -hmm. Like, the mod, there was just no control over any of that stuff. Yeah. Uh, and, they, you know, they, they tried to patch in stuff where you couldn't run certain scripts. But there's, it was a constant problem of, like, they can do whatever they want. And hackers just log in and spawn all the items in the game. And then they could, you know... They, every, yeah. it, it was day Z, and you could spawn tanks. And it's just like... Great. That's kind of like <laughs> everyone else is running around with cans of beans, and I got on. I got an M one A one Abram. But look, if you Let's put if you put the beans under the treads, maybe <laughs> it'll get caught in the tread, and then you can have beans. Yeah, you completely lost me on that one, Carrie. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it, you just. Pff. But I'm not trying to keep anybody here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there's um. So that happened with early access. That was like a weird thing. Also, I got um. I was trying to come up with another game to torture Bernie with because he made me play Flock with him. <laughs> and so I was going to try and do a, a sheep-themed torture with Flockers because they just released that Wait, on Early flock, Access. He made you play Flock. A game called Flock. So I'm trying to make him play a game called Flockers. And then you are making him play Flockers. I'm, I was, I'm, is it their sequel? Or no, is it no, game? it's a completely different game. This is a, it's a game by... <laughs> I thought it could be their sequel. No, I don't know. I, yeah, I, no, a, I get it. I'm just... Oh, the, okay. <laughs> I, I'm actually interested in this game. Who, yeah. who sees Flockers. their game and they're like, this is called Flockers. It's a sequel it's, to that. Like, well, great it's game. By, it's by Team 17. It's by the guys who make Worms. Oh, okay. okay wow. Well, then, See? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you very well, much. Yeah. I mean, you can... With Greenlit, you know, you get some really weird game names. They're like people who are nobody trying to make games and Flockers doesn't sound like a title I would... But see it's, from a uh, real I think developer. Flockers stars the sheep from Worms. 
Oh, okay. Basically, okay. Is, is, is where that's going. Uh-huh. And they have to try to, like, navigate through all the traps the worms have set for them and escape. You should absolutely make him play that game. Right. Yeah. So here's the thing. I yeah. bought it on early access. Yeah. I can't even launch it. What? Mm-hmm. It oh, just, it's that it will, early. It will, okay. It just won't even start for me. Yep. It's supposed to be launched. Yeah. And every time I try and start it, it just goes, it says it's launching and then, and then it's just gone. Yep. And I'm really upset. Yeah. How, how am I supposed to torture him <laughs> this game if I can't get it to run? Yep. It, it, it's one of those things that really sucks about Greenlight is that there's not, I mean, there most of the time the development's in a place that there's not anything they By can green do. By Greenlight, I assume you mean early access. The uh, yeah, Greenlight on Steam, early so access. That let, whole that know, whole model of play the game two years before it's supposed to come let's, out. Uh, let's assume. I'm sure the audience doesn't know what that is. I definitely do, and I know, I definitely do. But could you explain exactly how Greenlight works? But this is a test. I just want to know that you. Know what it is? Yeah, uh, Adam. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, uh, you know, I know. So, uh, Let's explain to the masses. A, d- a developer submits their game to Steam. Right. And Steam can put up the game for uh, greenlit approval. Okay. Uh, and if it passes that, whether it be voted from the community or just directly from Steam, uh, the game gets to use Steam's publishing service, mm-hmm. and they can sell copies of a game that is early access right and so you, labeled as it though labeled as early okay. access they are they're also called greenlit right um does the game still have to come out like is there some type of like contractual obligation no i i don't know okay. I'm, I'm sure that i'm sure there is yeah for some of that stuff but there's also plenty of games who are still anticipating playing the minecraft model of, right we're just not going to release for five years or whatever minecraft it was, was a at. Long it was time, a, yeah, yeah it was a really long development cycle yeah uh, before they went from you know it was beta for ever. Yeah. And it was then, usually just like one day it was like, oh, yeah, this patch makes it. This is the real game yeah. now. I it's guess like, we're done. Yeah. We're, you know. Well, it's, it, even then, but they're like, but we're, still so. gonna, we're still going to develop it. But, but this is when it's This is technically released. the one that's released now. Yeah. This is this is what they call gold. Okay. Um, but new games aren't the only ones having problems. Like. Game Spy is shutting down. Yep. Game Spy uh, Tech is shutting yeah. down. And mm-hmm. um, they're like, we're finally starting to get a better idea about how many games are being affected. Basically, they're all losing their really online. Sad. Almost yeah. all of them. Well, okay, not almost all of them, but a lot of them. So EA just released a list of oh, yeah, 50 games that, uh, Battlefield that 1942. they all used. It was 1942, oh, 2142, Battlefield See, 2. Command and Conquer um, Generals. Command and Conquer. I played that game so, Crisis, so much. Crisis 2. Uh, and wow. then, like, a whole bunch of, like, FIFA games for DS, and I, I didn't even know those used GameSpy, but apparently a lot of DS and Wii games use the GameSpy technology. Really? Um, so they're all losing all their online, and EA is not going to, this EA is not going to patch them or move them, they just said, oh it's yeah, and uh, Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront. Mm-hmm. Right. It's just going to, like, too. go looking it, for it, going, it's not going to be there. Just, yeah. like, it the just online w- doesn't exist anymore. Yep. Um, with the, so how long does somebody fix it? Like hackers for individual games fix that? People are. Oh, that already yeah. exists. Yeah, that's yeah that's that exists for a lot of those games. That's good. So Battlefront 2 um, is going to work under stuff, a service yeah. called Game Ranger. Right. Mm-hmm. That they've already got that going. Um, but then there's other stuff like uh, Halo CE for PC. Yeah, I remember that was GameSpy. Like, yeah. That was GameSpy. There, uh, someone from Bungie is actually working with the community to update that oh, to get cool. it to get it like running on like a community solution. That's cool. Yeah, they, they did a lot of that stuff with uh, Marathon too. Yeah. Was like they'd be like, hey, here's here's marathon, here's how to get it to work and everything. Yeah. yeah so there's um there are so many games that I are just completely going away. So much Halo PC. I, I mean, think. there's um, the multiplayer. Rockstar, multiplayer Rockstar component is, moving, is completely going away. Well, it's true. Rockstar is moving a couple. They're working on moving like uh, some older PC games. Let me look mm-hmm. exactly which ones. Um, I think like Red Dead Redemption and like older GTA That's, stuff. So Red Dead Redemption is considered an older game now. Well, I mean, no, I'm, but I'm saying like it's like they're shutting down the ser- they're shutting down the service for it. it's like. Well, it's just, just they're shutting down GameSpy Tech and GameSpy Tech anything that ran on GameSpy Tech me. like anything that used that, which makes me. Wait, I used wait, to wait, wait, ha- wait. I used to be very skeptical about things like publishers running their own solutions like EA with Origin or you right. know, that sort of thing. Like, oh, it's gonna get it's gonna get this is gonna be annoying. Gonna it's gonna go, be bad. I'm gonna, yeah. go, I'm gonna have <laughs> to really... go to like all these other places. Well, that's the whole thing. But, but now but... I'm now I'm just like, please don't use a third party solution because yeah. they're gonna die and they're gonna take hundreds of games with them. Yeah. Well, this was always scary. Is like you know, it's like so it's not it's not GameSpy retiring specific games that are small or old. No, this is GameSpy Game is just gone. It, to game so GameSpy the site shut down last year. Right. Uh-huh. But GameSpy Tech has tech been run to... by company that i can't remember and they just decided and that's no, going no on we decided to go buy it or anything or yeah that was a one right? thing that i'm a little bit surprised about i'm kind of surprised that I mean, they didn't go we're shutting down so now it's open source and you know yeah go do your own thing with it yeah but 
I also know very little about how that sort of thing works. Adam, I know a little yeah. bit more about whether that I mean, you can even kind of do that. Like, I mean, people, some people are doing that. I know. I know. Can't with, they pull uh, like a Google Wave on it? The it's like, hey, well, seriously, it's like, hey, we're stopping support. <laughs> but go create your own server. Can't they just pull that? You know, uh, I mean, it doesn't. It's it's not that easy. I know okay. there's a lot of people who are using like who are doing like loop or you know just kind of hacky stuff. Seriously, though, can we have a Google um, Wave server the, here? No, it's so good though. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it was okay. I, like, like Neverwinter, 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 and Neverwinter Two on that list were were games that mm -hmm. that I was particularly sad about, just because mm -hmm. those are games that I played multiplayer with my friends, mm -hmm. you know, ten, fifteen years ago. But they were still really, really, you know, near and dear to my heart. Battlefield 1942 uh, was my first and not first that I think shooter I'll, kill. They, oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Battlefield 1942. Yeah. So not even like Doom or any of the. No. Wow, no, no, I didn't. You're a lot. I forget how young he's, you are. He's a baby. He yeah. really is. Well, I didn't get it. Like my parents, like wouldn't let me play. 1942. That was like what 2000? Uh, 1990. 1999. No, it I was... think it, it might have been 2000, 2001. Yeah, well, I remember. No. Hey, I remember Halo, when that, I was in high school. Halo I remember piece, that demo came out. Halo was 2001. Yeah. Like wasn't I remember it? that, that the, one, the weekend that I think it was demo the came Omaha out. Map. It was, it was cool. the Wake yeah. Island. Wake Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. It was Wake Island, man. I remember I went to my uh, like my brother like took me to work that day. He worked like like uh, an internet company. He's like, look, we got a T one. Everything's good. And like, so we we're like, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. So like when we're, that like, was when that was the hot shit. That was the hot shit. So yeah. like, I just took my computer and bought Battlefield Four Two and was just playing like in his office all day. It was awesome. Speaking of other older PC games, yes, Unreal Tournament. Yeah. They just yep. announced a new Unreal Tournament. This is weird, though. It is really this weird. This is really did you watch, weird. Did you watch the stream? No. Okay, I did. Tell and, us about and it. And it was what was weird about it. The well, they're just it, it's from well, what I can tell. The there's not well, an know, immediate yeah. business model. Yeah, like they're they're they're, they're not. They've they've announced that it's not going to be a game you buy. It's going to be free. It's going to be a yeah. free Completely game. Free. There's not going to be microtransactions. Okay. Not from Epic. The yeah, the the the, the whole model is something that like. This doesn't sound like they're what tribes creating did a, a game, and then other people can create add-ons and sell the add-ons, and Epic will take a cut or right. something like that. Interesting. And it was it was one of those things that I, I was watching the stream and it's like this is not. <laughs> not I mean, that, games cost millions and millions of dollars. They're, Where but are they they're gonna... also crowdsourcing the development. Yeah. So they're getting like it's a, in GitHub. So... You can go like you can go fork it and start. <laughs> I know that sounds weird for anyone <laughs> go, who's not hey, me. Hey, uh, <laughs> want to go fork it on you, GitHub? <laughs> I'd you can. You can. It. <laughs> you can download the source code and you know like start working on it. Yeah. Anyone with an Unreal Engine four license, I believe, can just like straight up. That's pretty cool. Be actually. working on it, and then they're gonna have a store where people can sell or give mm -hmm. away, but sell right. their you yeah. know their add-ons. Absolutely. Are, I mean, because Unreal, when it, like back in the day, they had the you know the scripting languages, one of the first things you could just easily mod, and they had right. all the what were they called mutators at the yeah. time? Yeah. Um, you know, you, you get like turn them on in the game. You yeah. get like you know like yeah. the big heads and mm -hmm. just like all the yep. like insta gibs mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. I always get. I moved between Unreal Tournament and Quake so much that yeah. I can I can never keep the terms straight between the two. But um, I think it was Mutators. Unreal Tournament. Mutators. Better, so. I did, I liked it better. Too. I liked Unreal Tournament better. Yeah. It felt less glidey. I played. There's what was the one on the, the also Xbox. Black Cannon. It was like two. There's Unreal Championship. 2004. So the last Unreal Tournament that existed was 2007, and that was Unreal Tournament. And that Unreal was Championship black? three. There was a black it was, edition it was that came three. out 2009, but that was like a. Like, it was just a rebranding of oh, yeah. yeah, all yeah, of yeah. the like expansions yeah. and or DLC, depending on what we're yeah. calling it now. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like expansions. Um, with that, because I remember like cause, uh, a couple years ago, like I was trying to get into game developing a lot, and if you go, if you get UDK, their development software, it comes with like a like single map version of Unreal. Like I feel like Unreal for the last couple of years has just been like. Hey, here's the engine. Well, it's the like, game, Unre I want to say that Unreal was a tech demo, more or less, for Unreal Engine. That's what yeah. they do with like all of their Unreal mm -hmm. games. They're like, look what you can do with it. Yeah, that's, pretty what, much. that's what yeah. they are. Well, that's, like, hey, cool, that's also lighting. how they optimize yeah. Not that I mind. their engine no. and, and do They're all good, that stuff. Yeah. It's, I feel like it's it's similar to, kind. it's kind of similar to what Rockstar does, where like they make like the next game. So they made like GTA 4, and then they use that engine for a whole bunch of stuff. It's mm -hmm. like... Similar thing, but except it's Speaking of sweet which, just really quick, um, I just looked up what's going to be affected with the Game Spy shutdown for Rockstar Games. Right. Um, and the good news is, so no change for GTA Five, of course. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Max Payne Three is losing the Mac version of online multiplayer. Red Dead Redemption's online multiplayer is unaffected. Okay, so that's good. Good job, everybody. Uh, well done. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, GTA Four is also unaffected in their multiplayer, but they're losing their like stat tracking. 
Uh, Midnight Club Los Angeles is losing uh, multiplayer for the PS3 forget version. They were Rockstar. Yeah. I know, right? That's uh, the one that always, like, Chinatown... every time I hear it, I'm like, they're what? I know. Mm-hmm. They, made, I don't they made a racing that... game? Did you know they made or Rockstar Table game? Tennis? And then uh, <laughs> Chinatown Wars for DS is losing everything. And also a game called Beat a Raider? <laughs> okay. I'm not going to even describe <laughs> what I think that is. Stop. <laughs> uh, so... It involves robot arms. <laughs> And then uh, Midnight Club 3 is losing its online multiplayer, but all the mm. newer, so I guess if you don't want, like, Red Dead Redemption, it's not an older game now. I get, that's it's good. It's going to be unaffected. It's going to be that's great. That's good. Um, I don't want that to be considered an old game yet, because it's not. No, mm-hmm. it's so good. I can't wait. Oh so here's the other thing, though, is uh, on an earnings call, Take Two said that Rockstar is going to have a next-gen game out by March of 2015. Basically, in I thought it was this next- year. Uh, 2015. Oh no! They said they were going to announce it this year. So they'll probably announce right. it yeah, this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here we go. What is it? Is it a next Red Dead game? I hope is so. it a new bully game? It's, it's interesting. They haven't. Or, they, yeah. Or, or is it, is a, it a next gen port of GTA 5? Have they have they said it's a an existing IP? Yeah. So it could be anything. It yeah. could be anything. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder how much work probably they need to do. not another Grand Theft Auto, but no, well, probably yeah. not another GTA unless, <laughs> unless unless they're doing the like the uh, Last of Us thing where it's like, hey, it was really no. popular in 360. But they said it's a new they've, title. They've previously okay. said that they're not going to that they aren't looking at next gen for GTA G5. Five, but of course that can change. Right, that can always. Change. I also wonder. They sold 33 million copies of the yeah. game so far. Yeah, that I feel like change. they would sell more yeah. even too. I, I wonder how much it's going to take for their engine. That's a ridiculous amount of money. Oh my god, that's 30, so much. 33 million 33 times million 60. copies times 60, but then divide it in half. Yeah, less, for, for, for actual know, operating yeah. and retailer and all that stuff. And you that have still a swimming pool of full yeah. of dollars, which is why they are a rock star. I could didn't pay they break somebody I didn't to get Pokemon Dead. for me. Didn't they break a billion? Uh, I'm pretty sure they did. 24 yeah. hours. Yeah, that, yeah that's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. I feel like just on pre-orders alone, probably. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Day, day one, it was it. pre-orders and day one sales broke a, broke a billion dollars each. Well, no, and then they, they made another billion since then. Oh, yeah. Like, it, their their most recent uh, earnings had shown that they were, again, up a billion dollars. You know, I mean, we always think of Call of Duty as, like, the big dog franchise. Mm-hmm. And I guess because it's annual, it does generate more money. Right. But on a per-title basis, GTA is yeah. just a slugger. Oh, my God. Um, do you guys want to make GTA 6? Do we, do we want to make okay. like, Do you guys want to make we're, it so we can get a billion dollars? Okay, we're five the, oh, minutes, and okay. there's one thing sure. that I really want to discuss, and that Hit us. is that Microsoft has just announced yeah. that they're going to sell Xbox One without Connect. That makes me so happy. Here's what I want to know. Can I sell my Connect for hundred dollars back to them? Uh, you can probably sell it to that guy. They said they said in there that like Somewhere everyone else. was using it. Yes, they so they said that um, I unplugged mine months ago. That uh, well, actually, like we use we use ours around the house all the time. It's the, like, easy to like stuff. walk in, you know, Xbox turn on, it's yeah. on, and then like we like we can say that from the kitchen and mm-hmm. here as we walk in the room, it automatic like it sees you automatically signs you in. Although I have a weird problem with that where it's that using was why your I old stopped address. using it. Actually, because I would be sitting down, I would be watching Netflix. My girlfriend would come in, it would recognize her, and kick it to her Netflix. Oh my god, that <laughs> would drive like, me it likes crazy. Her yeah, it would drive me shit. Like all of a sudden, murder she wrote on. I'm like, I was watching Always Sunny. Like, Stop this. <laughs> yeah. So basically, now we know that Stacey really likes murder she wrote. She's been watching it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, but they they announced they're gonna get rid of that. So, which is. I mean, yeah. previously, like last year, they basically were like, no, it's basically like you have a power supply, you've got mm-hmm. a graphics card. Yeah. It, is a, got... it is a part of your con- console. It is your controller. Yeah. And now, it is one and the same. But then again. So and there's, I don't think they're backing off of that. Um, no. I mean, they did say, so 80% of people use it. And mm-hmm. on average, um, of the you know people that use it, right. uh, they average 120 voice commands per month um, I don't like that they know that. You know that just creeps Here's me out. Thing. That's right? a good point. What else yeah. on my console is being sent to them? I, no, yeah. I if don't. They can tell, if they can pull that information, crap. Yeah. Okay, now, and I 30% don't think of people are wearing pants when that, they play. Right? I don't think they actually do that. There's a thing what? where you can opt in to send your information anonymously, and I get the feeling that that's what they're using. If you see, opt out, they have no information on you. I'm curious but to see how many people are in, opting in. Do you know what I mean? If they yeah. opt in because they just go, next, 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 give me a game. It's true. Like, yeah. that's all they're doing. They're not right. reading anything on the screen. No one ever does. Has ever, anyone you ever don't read, read, the end, they read the end user? The, the, the user end agreement yeah. on, like, every time you install yeah. software? Well, you're great. Like, then you opted in. I mean, that's your I'm own pretty, fault. Yeah. Yeah, but it just... But, but 
you know, nevertheless, it's not people go like, oh my god, they're spying me. I'm like, no, you opted in to send anonymous mm-hmm. information. It's, yeah, it's to just them data. Yeah, for, it's, for it's stats. not yeah. for stats. For stats, exactly. So they could say things like 80 percent of people use it all the time, right. and they really like it. It is weird to me that um, aside from the auto sign in, which I really like, mm-hmm. um, just like. It is true. After I t- teach you how to recognize me, and, I'm yeah. all, and it says hi, and I'm all like, hey, buddy. <laughs> hey. Uh, how you doing? You know, the, the voice commands are nice. No one does motion gaming anymore, no. which, like, I don't care about remotely. I'm glad they got yeah. past that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's stuff, I'm glad there's that still died stuff, like, swiftly. There's still stuff like, you know, Connect Sports um, and, you know, that. Mm-hmm. But aside from that, I'm glad that yeah. they've got past and that. And they're using too. Connect in subtler ways. Like, well, for like, But like, I'm worried that they're going to start. You know, falling off that now that it's not. Dual developers part of the aren't guaranteed all anymore. I'm super happy that it's going to fall off. I there I, are little things. The voice stuff is nice for me. But see, I don't I like the, voice fe- stuff. the voice stuff doesn't need the whole connect thing. It's true. You just like, need the headset. I just want yeah. yeah, exactly. Like I want the console to just be able to use my headset so I can do things. <laughs> Sorry, my voice you're, just went crazy. You're very passionate wow. about this. Uh, so I can do things like in Mass Effect Three. It was it was very good, and that you could do things like. Garrus, go forward, or whatever it was. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, and those things were Is that neat. the kind of attitude you had? But, <laughs> yeah. Garrus, go forward! forward. Uh, actually, it was, it was, well, I didn't have my Rex much. Um, anyway. <laughs> it, Let's talk more about your Mass Effect game. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like that game. It's, it's really, good. It's a good game. I'm not it's a good game. So. I like it. I'm not uh, saying so. I like that it was it was just voice commands and not like mm-hmm. and, and I can't remember. I think it was two years ago at E3 they were showing off the Kinect sensor with like Peyton Manning or some football player, like actually holding a football in front of the screen, and it's just like, no, that's who does this? It's too much. Nobody does yeah. that. Yeah, but, I mean, the, but the subtle stuff, I really like. I like the subtle stuff too. I don't like the motion. Like I don't want to be yeah. sitting there like doing this while I'm trying to play a game. Yeah, just give me my controller. Let voice commands yeah. work on my headset, mm-hmm. and I will be I'll be thrilled. Voice commands are yeah. cool. The whole motion stand up, do camera. Well, there's like a thing don't in care uh, about it at all. in Forza Four where it's like if you just like look to the side. I think it's in Five too. Like if you look to the side, your it camera will go slightly. Bit. See, too. that works if you're you know wearing goggles or something like that. But like your 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 eyes are still tracking with this. That's weird. I don't. That's just true. let me use the thumbstick. So you're saying it's, it's Oculus Rift? I mean, yeah. That's what I'm hearing. There's yeah. a right. head movement makes sense in Oculus Rift. It sure. doesn't make sense. When your eyes are still looking at a stationary object, your TV's not moving with you. Well, when they when they get that billion-person MMO up and running, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah. I'm sure Full we'll, MMOs. we'll all enjoy Oculus oh, a great God. deal. Uh, so we're, we have to wrap up, but I did promise Same. Mario Kart. Yes, yeah. Yeah, I still that, want to talk this, about Mario Kart. By the way, Kart. this thing totally doesn't work. This is not an hour. It's all it's shy an hour, but we were late starting it, so it's every it's minute. It doesn't work. I'm really sorry. You do a good job. I, we appreciate the black sand's cool. Uh, but so <laughs> we is. promised to talk about Mario Kart. Now we can't talk about Mario Kart today on the live stream because we can talk about it starting tomorrow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick around and talk about it. And tomorrow, if you come and watch it on the site or on YouTube, the the version that we put up tomorrow, mm-hmm. this will magically have Mario Kart right about here. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's talk about Mario Kart. Mario so Kart. Nintendo was really, really nice, yes. and uh, they sent us a copy of Mario Kart like a month before it comes out. So it comes yeah. out um, at the end of this month on the 30th, mm-hmm. um, and we've been playing it. I, I just today actually unlocked mm-hmm. the yeah, final yeah. the final cup. It's so much fun. Mm-hmm. I played uh, that was awesome. Dude, this game. So, it's I will really t- good. Can, this is not early access, by the feel, way. This I is like no, the this finished is, game. This is finished game. Yeah. So, I feel like this is important. Yes. What was the last Mario Kart game you played prior to this one? GameCube. 3DS. Oh uh, no, I played a little bit of the 3DS, but yeah. I almost don't count that one. Okay, so I've, GameCube, I've 3DS. Yeah. I was on the N64. Really? Right. Well, you're gonna so, like this then because it has yes. it has the Nintendo 64 Rainbow Road. Yeah. Yeah. And on top of that, the so my complaint earlier was that the games don't change enough. They they don't they don't feel sure. like they evol- evolve. I want I want to talk about this. Holy then, yeah. crap! Mario Kart has it's changed. It's so yes. good that I was. I, I can't I don't remember which cup I was on. I was just doing one of the one of them. Uh-huh. And I started off in my normal cart. Right. And then halfway through it I got a hover car. Yeah. And was flying around like floating on stuff. Going upside down and shit. And then yeah. I launched on something and got a parachute. Yeah. It, uh-huh. it was like everything I have never seen that was crazy. Everything is different. Yeah, yeah I like great. how Mario Kart always seems to try to have like a different sort of like shtick for each one. Like the GameCube right. one was Double, Double Dash. Dash. It was yeah. like you can mm-hmm. have the two the two players and you can bump each other's mm-hmm. cars and you're you know co-oping in a single car. Right. Um, and then this one, 
I feel like one, it's a huge change in like you go underwater mm-hmm. and you, yeah. you're floating, I've, and then yep. you, but but it's also completely messes with gravity. If yes. you if you pay attention to the track, then it's really hard while you're racing. They yeah. uh, like you like you find and you're like, hey, I just was doing that and it's upside down and you going can see, this like, way. You can play. You can actually see the racers. Yeah. yeah, come come yep. upside down the other way. Yeah, and then it flips around or you, you know you come around a corner and there's a bit where you're like, oh look, you can just go up on the wall and then you're racing on the wall sideways yeah. Yeah. while people are coming down here and it's just oh it's so i've played every mario kart up to this one and so far the double dash is always my favorite double dash was my favorite too. i fucking love double dash i fucking love this game yeah this so, game is like taken for me one of the other things that i absolutely love and and I last played it a lot on the N64. I right. did dabble on the Wii. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Not a fan of that one. I didn't. So it started off, and I, like someone handed it to me. I was like, I love Mario Kart. And yeah. I grabbed the Wii, and it did the whole like this thing. Yeah. Nope, didn't like that. And then like you can change it into the buttons. But I don't like that there wasn't an analog stick. So right. then you'd have to get the attachment a controller. Mm-hmm. And even then, it still didn't feel right. And my mm. caveat for this game is that I still don't like the Wii remotes with it. No. Really? I, 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 just I don't like the Wii remotes, but I like the... The, uh, the game pad. The, the game pad. The game pad like and the, the or like the Wii U Pro controller. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm still I, not the a fan other, of tilt stuff. I was, I was playing it nope. um, at home with Bernie mm-hmm. and... Um, he was using the weird ones, and I like I just like all right. Before we race again, you stay right here. And I had to go look through the house to uh-huh. find the Wii U Pro controller because it annoyed me that he was using the Wii remote. It doesn't feel fair. It doesn't. No, it doesn't feel remotely fair. No, because I was I was like, how do you even like you know how how do you get your blue sparks, bro? Exactly. You you gotta like like it's like the button underneath or something. So yeah, you were yeah. helping yeah. him. Well. Only so that make... I could feel better about yeah all of the about crushing. It, it makes the defeat more real. <laughs> uh huh. I, the one thing I have not tried yet. So you though, talk about wanting to torture him, and what you should have just done is just left him with the the Well, Wiimote yeah, but see, like, here's the thing: him. is if I put him in the best, what? if <laughs> spit on him. Well, like when you win, it's like I'm better. That. <laughs> That seems like, you, you that seems just rude. stop. All right, note to self. Let's anyway, not play let's with Harry. Let's just continue. No, let's uh, not play. That's how he wins. He just <laughs> spits time, on you. If, and I, if I can put him, you're a sore winner. If I can put him Lord. in the strongest position, like you know, right. give him like the tools he needs, and then beat him anyway. Exactly. Tell me that's not the best. Come yeah. on. Uh, yeah, I get that. What I have right. not tried yet though is to use the tilt on the actual gamepad. No, you no, can no, enable right. tilting on the. I, I haven't. I just I just use the shoulder button. I do too. I use the analog sticks, and that's that's all I need. I'm just curious if that would feel better. I have a bit of a sore thumb. I need to get really? better at like popping my knuckles because the the A button. Thanks for that. <laughs> the A button it's is I spit on it. the. I can't. No, I really can't. I do it like no, the side a little even, bit. I don't, you know, anyway, uh, yeah, like I just I don't like all this in the A button being the gas. I'm just like, oh. oh I see, almost need to see. If I, I use I use that I for can. about a minute and then the the thumbstick. Is also gas. Oh well, you push oh, the it right up. Yeah, oh. you push it up and you and it's gas okay. and you can control the level. So All right, well, you, now that I know that, down, yeah. you can, like, my, yeah. my thumbs are going to feel a lot better. That yeah. made me so happy. Yeah. <laughs> like, just just the the new mm. Wii, control, Wii U controller so, alone, fantastic. I, I have to say that, um, so 16 of the tracks in this game are older ones. They're right. the remixes, one of them being mm-hmm. the Nintendo 64 Rainbow Road, which was, like, my favorite track on that version. Yeah. And, you know, like... It's the, the best track of all time. Yeah, good, and so. and you know like dry dry desert I think mm-hmm. and like like a whole bunch of like the classic like, like the really awesome and, they're like... great they it's nice because I'm not used to Nintendo games they always look cute right but now they're so pretty I I've, I've nice. yet to get over every time I turn on the Wii U and play a Nintendo game in HD mm-hmm. with like all the detail going Super Mario 3D World yeah yeah like, like I, just, I yeah. haven't I haven't got over that yet so every mm-hmm. time I play this I'm just going it's God it's so pretty yeah, there's, like, there's water a... effects and everything going on and everything so detailed and colorful and bright it's awesome I saw a gif from like one of the trailers of like Mario's mustache just like flapping it's <laughs> got like mustache <laughs> physics now and stuff it's, it's like crazy. yes it's crazy and like so great. even though even the older levels look like so much better than mm-hmm. you ever remember but well, I the mean, new they've levels. been upscaled too, so they've yeah, been, it's, yeah. it's the same course, but they've but rebuilt they've made it, it look nicer. So well, they look like, like you remember almost, it. Yeah, yeah, they look like you remember it, but better. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so they look really nice. But what really shines is the new tracks. Mm-hmm. Yep. The new tracks are incredible. Yeah, I love. I just I love what they've done with the with the twisting mm-hmm. and that everything's a little bit different. Like Bowser's Castle in this one, mm-hmm. like it looks impressive in the trailers. 
and I was playing through it and I was like, oh my god, yeah. this is the best thing ever. With like, as soon as you come up on giant Bowser, mm -hmm. like punching the, the and like you the can see like the, the thing side. like rippling and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. you see the whole thing. There's different levels where there's like these giant music notes like bouncing around, mm -hmm. and they they like ripple the the whole. I feel like thing. And I did. I will say I didn't play enough of the Wii one because I just didn't like it as much. No, I feel I. like this one is using a lot more. There's a lot more obstacles on the track than what I remember from the Wii one, which I like a lot. It's like you know, there's like one part I can't remember which map it is. Uh, where there's a whole there's a series of the uh, boost pads, mm -hmm. but like the lightning lightning oh, will yeah. come down randomly on them. So yep. you've like if you're going toward it and you see it to start to spark, you gotta like go away from it because you're gonna get zapped. It's that happened to me. I did not like that. Yeah, it's so. Oh, I really? mean, it's well, it's a good mechanic, but yeah. at the same time, it was like, like I was in fuck. first. Yeah, and it was just like zoom 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 zoom, and I was just like. I hate the new yeah. the new items are Stupid great too. Yeah. Lightning bolt. I love that there's finally protection from the blue shell. Yeah, the, because the the, 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 horn the thing. worst thing that can possibly happen to you mm -hmm. is being in first place going into the third lap. Yeah, you know, and then you're, then you're bad. like, then you're like, well, I am screwed. Something's gonna. So happen. if you can get like if you can get that, mm -hmm. it's like the like the sonic horn thing. Yeah, and yep. is that the first thing that's ever been able to beat a blue shell? As far as I know. I, as far yeah. as I know, it is. Okay. And then they've also got like the like a new piranha plant thing that just like yeah. attaches to the front of the cart and like just like bites it's everything. Great. So you just have to get like near someone in front of you and it just mm -hmm. goes, <sighs> and you're like, sucker. <laughs> it's great. Pro tip for winning everything. Mm -hmm. Luigi. Everything in life. Here we go. Sport bike. <laughs> Luigi is my favorite character. So he I is play so him. good. Yeah. Bernie plays as shy guy mostly. Oh really? Shy um, guy. <laughs> So cute. What's wrong with his childhood? <laughs> he always, I'm gonna be the shy guy. He was only yeah. ever able to play Mario too. Yeah, but it's um I've like I'm don't have everything completely unlocked yet. All mm -hmm. the all the tracks are We're unlocked and they're it. all wonderful. I've got like six characters still to unlock, mm -hmm. and I think one of them is Rose Gold Peach. So I'll try mm -hmm. playing with the super heavy chick. Metal Mario just unlocked. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, yeah, so we finally got Metal Mario. Mostly, I brought it in the office so that everyone would unlock stuff yeah. for me. <laughs> the the there's two things I noticed, and these aren't bad things necessarily. Is one is the uh, the ink. Uh, item isn't as hard anymore. Like it does not fill the screen the same amount. No. Um, which I've also found. I used, I do some of the, the 3ds, and you can do this on this one. Finally, if you when you're holding the gamepad, normally it just gives you like your big character emblem. But on the side, you've got like a feed of your game and like a map. If you click on those, it makes them bigger. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So if you click on the map, then you can just use that when you've got the ink on your screen, and you can just drive with that. I always do that on the DS games. Uh, really, the yeah. ink is down there, or is, isn't it's, on the it's bottom? It's not on there, so you can just stare at the map overlay and just drive with that. Yeah, that's oh, wow. still pretty tough. Though. No, it's still, it's still it's, tough. yeah. I mean, you're gonna miss items. Well, and the stuff new like that. the new ink. In this it current version, it doesn't cover the screen. Anyway. Yeah. Like there was a few times that it, I hit it, and I was just like, okay, yeah. well, I'll just keep going, no yeah. problem. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely not as as yeah. dangerous as it was before. Yeah, yeah. Um, the game is easier overall. I've noticed. Have you? I, been, what, I mean, but thing. what speed have you been playing on? I play. I, I played. I played through on fifty a couple things, and I did one fifty for a couple cups, and it's still been. It's overall, it's easier. 150 yeah. is not I like will, I'm not just blasting through it. Is it because just like the target is for a little younger crowd? Then I us. wonder, yeah. I mean, I'm definitely older now. I mean, we play games yeah. a lot, so we're kind of good at them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say the single player seems maybe maybe a little bit easier, mm -hmm. only because I've been able to like win a lot. Right. But I'm also like going through and unlock, like, I'm going through all the 50 CCs yeah. on you know triple star them and all that, and then you know go mm -hmm. up from there. Mm -hmm. Multiplayer, so much fun. No, it is. Yeah, and that's the thing is like I'm okay with the single player being a little bit easier mm -hmm. because I know that the multiplayer now the online multiplayer is going to be. A yeah. lot harder, it, yeah. which is because you're playing other people. Yes, and, um, it's going to be really hard. And to help everyone else get a better idea, of sort of like what the game has in store, mm -hmm. um, we're going to put together a let's play. Yeah, and we will put that out. Oh my god! Um, since we're in the future now, Whoa. today or tomorrow, the power. And snapping. then, and, well, it'll be it'll be short because you know we don't, we don't want to you know spoil too much of the game for people. Mm -hmm. um, but to give you an idea, like how much how much fun it is and That's and how good the multiplayer is. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, all right, you guys ready? I'll look at you with the magic. The magic even. You like that? Hold on. Snap. Uh, do you mean play Mario Kart <laughs> right here, right now, like the old one? <laughs> um, and then. Now we're done with Mario Kart. Look at that. That was. It magical. was great. And oh man, Adam's dead to me now. That's fine. You'll explain. We'll explain why. Yep. You'll explain. Yeah, it's coming tomorrow. It's going to be very important. Uh, but thank you for joining us for our 50-second patch. Our one year one birthday. Year, one year anniversary. We got, we've been we've doing got, this for a year. A year. We've got a flashy new set. Yep. We've it got these nice. really awesome microphones. And you guys can't see it, but the new chairs are great. Oh my God. These, the old chairs these, suck these, so these, bad. These cushions <laughs> are like amazing. Like it's the best. Yeah. Um, so thank you for joining us. We'll be back next week on Monday with another episode of the RT Podcast. Mm -hmm. And Wednesday with another episode of... 
The Patch. The Patch. I said that early. 